Avatar. Dance, devil, dance! <laughs> uh, yes. This would be album, I believe. Well, actually, don't tell me when. The album number. Son of a beast thing. Well, it's this album from this week year's album. 11 tracks. About 41 minutes long. So, you'll get through it pretty easily. Band that's in Origins were essentially melodic death metal and death and roll. Styles specifically. And yeah. You might be able to see the uh, logo a little bit better if I get a little light. Yeah. I wasn't able to show in my thumbnail, so. For future reference, but I'm not sure it matters. But. Regardless. I liked their last record, Hunter Gat. Hunter Gatherer, or Hunter Gathering, or however it goes. Let me double check. Yes, Hunter Gatherer it was in 2020. That was definitely made one of my lists. So I was, and I've seen them live. I know they're good. So I'm just looking forward to this band. So apparently, this album is actually, I believe, their. Uh, Ninth, I guess. Anyways, I got into them around their Feathers and Flesh record. I couldn't fully, wasn't, I was kind of strayed away from Avatar Country a bit, but I eventually decided to check out Hunter Gatherer, and I definitely loved that record very much. Very, very much. Can I say the same about this record? Unfortunately, no, but is it a bad record? Hell no. I genuinely like this record. I want to, I wish I could love it like I did the last one, but it's not the case. Kind of disappointing, but not enough to keep me from wanting to go back to it, you know what I mean? As the title track is great. Chimp Ma Mosh Pit is a track name. I mean, given they have a sense of humor, it makes sense, but eh. Valley of the Disease, which was a single, was pretty good. On the Beach is kind of cool. But I feel like if things start to kind of get more into gro the groove that I'm more interested in with this band by by Do You Feel in Control, which is a great track. I think Gotta Wanna Riot, I think, has a nice little opening riff that's very Death and Roll. Or am I thinking of Clouds... Di I think I might be thinking of Todd's Dipped in Chrome on that one, actually. The Dirt and Buried It is pretty catchy. Train is a nice one of the softer three-minute tracks. Hazmat Suit is definitely an anth very anthemic. Um, the, a lot of their stuff is known to be more anthemic, which is why they're able... And they have this certain very circusy kind of thing to them. And even their front man who kind of has... But he has like a very... Like somehow if you wanted to give them a black metal feel to it, you know feel to Alice Cooper a little bit, but way more circusy and less true cold elitist. You know what I mean? <laughs> also the final track on this thing, though not the best song in, on here, and I like the collab Corey Taylor did, which was not much of one, even though it's just in whistling, but that was nice. This isn't a bad one either. Lizzie Hale, who may as well be of Hailstorm fame, who's may as well be the Joan Jet, the Kurt, somewhere between the Joan Jet and Lita Ford of our time. And the duet with moment in violence, no matter what, which is probably the more punky side of this record. Be on the Beach definitely has a surfy vibe to it a little bit. Um, or at least a more Hawaiian style of... I mean, I'm trying to think of the right musical term, but I'm not getting at it right. But it's a little silly. and 
But yeah, overall, I did like this record. I didn't like it as much. A light to strong thumbs up for me. I don't know if I can give it the horns this time around. I get if you do, though, to be fair. And it's not like they didn't try to do some things different, I guess. But I don't know if it was favorable that much or not, to be honest with you. I do like the opening track a little bit. It, it took me a while to, but I, it does take a, f a bit to get into the sum of the first half to me, or at least the first four track. I mean, Valley of the Disease is probably the one that really gets to me, gets me back in. Dirt and Buried In was pretty solid to me. Like I, like, I couldn't, need I say more about Hazmat Suit. But, yeah, like on the beach here. I mean, see that closet? Yeah, it's the left one. I mean, it has been suits, it takes a little bit, but. <laughs> I mean, the shouting but moments of the chorus and of the title track in Violence No Matter What, it's between Lizzie Hale and for a man of this band that's name escapes me. I'm sorry. Uh, but yes. Fucking cars. Anyways. <laughs> I enjoyed this album, guys. Hopefully you guys, I enjoyed this album enough. Like I said, more strong to li light to strong. Thumbs up, nothing more than that. A pretty, pretty solid in between, straight thumbs up. So, yeah, I'm sorry it's getting dark on me, but yeah. What did you think of this record? Did you like it more than Hunter Gatherer or any of the other records? Like Feathers and Flesh and all that stuff. Um... Leave a comment below, let me know. As always, guys, keep it rent. Like, uh, what's your favorite Avatar album, actually? And maybe I might eventually check it out. Um, I'm thinking of, I might like Kale the Apocalypse. Um, but I need, but I love the title track that opens it. But if you have to finish, get into that record, I might need to try to get into the earlier stuff too. To pre feathers and flesh, so. Mm, like the Black Waltz and all that. So maybe, who knows. But we shall see. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know. As always, guys, keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. So, uh, eventually I'll probably, which might be the Ant-Man one. I might do something special-ish for that. Um, so, if I can convince somebody to be involved in it. If they want to. But yeah. But yeah. Sorry. I spaced out. But then again. Take care y'all. See you then. Whenever that's going to be. So. Because uh, I wanted to wait. And see it with. My significant other. Who wants to see it. And we didn't get to because she had some, fortunately wasn't feeling well uh, well enough and up to it by the next day after the wedding we went to. So, yeah. <sighs> do what you gotta do, I guess. Take care. And, uh, see you when I see you. Um, I have another album, who knows? I need to get to listening to it, but I gotta upload these before I get to a Zoom meeting. So, <laughs> take care.